Hey guys, it's Kat. Um, I just noticed that um, Dana from the Freedom Please channel did a really fun crochet questions tag. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to try to get through the questions really quick because uh, most of my previous videos have been really long, so I want to make this a quick one. So um, first question, how long have you been crocheting? Um, I've been crocheting for um, I think about two years now. No, not very long. <laughs> I think it's been about two years. Who taught you how to crochet? Um, I actually taught myself how to crochet by watching YouTube videos, um, specifically uh, Beth in Texas. <laughs> um, what's your favorite hook size? I like the um, size J, six millimeter, I think it is, I use mostly. Um, and I use um, the boy brand hooks. Um, oh, the next question, what is your favorite brand of hooks? I use Boy, because um, when I first started crocheting, I just went to my local um, craft section of my local department store and just bought like a plastic hook and the yarn kept sliding off and it really annoyed me and I just hated plastic. So then I went to Michael's and I got the uh, Boy brand hooks because that's what I saw Beth in Texas using. So I started using those and um, that's all I have used since. I love them. Um, but I do want to try the bamboo hooks. They look pretty good. And I, I'm pretty, pretty good with uh, wooden knitting needles, so I think I'd be pretty good with uh, bamboo hooks. So I want to try those sometime. Um, what is your favorite yarn? I don't actually have a favorite yarn because I just buy whatever in whatever color I need when I need it. I don't usually go to a specific brand uh, time after time. I've used a whole bunch of different brands. so. I don't have a specific favorite yarn. Um, what's your favorite pattern? Um, I also don't think I have a favorite pattern. I don't think there's anything that I have ever made more than one of, um, except um, the two basic um, beanie hats that I showed in my previous video, but um, they're just basic hats. They're not really a favorite pattern. So I don't think I have a favorite, although I really liked the uh, Granny Ripple blanket pattern that I got from uh, Beth in Texas One's uh, website. That was the very first thing I ever crocheted and I loved it. It's so pretty. Um, so I guess that one. Um, who is your favorite crochet guru? That would be Beth in Texas One. <laughs> um, what are you inspired by? Um, just um, pictures I see in magazines and other people's stuff that I see on YouTube. Uh, what do you use for a stitch marker? I actually don't use stitch markers. I don't know if that's a bad thing, but I don't use stitch markers. I have never used one. Um, I just go and I don't mark anything. Um, what was the highest amount you paid for one skein of yarn? Um, I think the most I've ever spent was about 10 bucks for one of those really big, like one pound giant skeins. Um, how many times have you redone a project before you got it right? Uh, I don't think I've ever had to redo a project. I'm pretty good with following patterns and getting it okay the first time, so I don't think I've ever done anything more than once. Um, do you know how to read patterns? Yes, I do. That was one of the first things I taught myself because I can't... I'm not really a freestyle crocheter. I need to have instructions to tell me what to do, so I had to learn to read patterns. Um, how do you feel when you're in a yarn store? Um, I feel very excited and inspired by all the colors and I just love touching all the yarn and it's just fun being in a yarn store. Uh, do you think you're a yarnaholic? Um, not quite yet. I think I'm getting there. I only have um, two large storage containers of yarn right now. I don't really go out and like buy yarn just for the sake of buying yarn. I usually um, buy yarn specifically to projects that I plan on making so I'm not really a yarnaholic yet but I think I'm getting there because there are times when I see yarn on sale and I have to buy a couple of skeins but I'm not I don't buy as much as people I see on YouTube doing their yarn hauls and stuff so I'm not a yarnaholic yet but I'm getting there. Um, do you have a lot of yarn but still feel like it's not enough? Uh, no. I have I have a couple of uh, storage boxes of yarn, like as I just said, and um, I feel that it's enough for now. So again, I'm not quite yarnaholic yet because I I think I have enough when I really don't have a whole lot. Um, 
Have you ever freestyle crocheted? Um, I guess I kind of have because I made a granny square blanket. Um, not using a pattern, I just made a whole bunch of granny squares and made a blanket out of them. So I guess that's technically freestyling. Um, but that's the only thing I have ever made without a pattern, so. Um, express how you feel when you are counting in crochet and someone interrupts you. Annoyed. <laughs> um, usually I don't really need to count very much for the things I make. Um, and if I'm making something with a specific amount of rows, I'll like, I'll have a piece of paper beside me and I'll like mark off every time I finish a row so I don't lose count and stuff like that, so. Um, but if I'm not marking it off and somebody interrupts me, I get annoyed. <laughs> um, do you dream about crochet? Um, not crochet specifically, but I have seen a lot of yarn in my dreams. Um, do you drive and crochet? Um, no, I don't understand how that is possible. And I don't drive anyways. I don't have a license. I don't really have any desire to drive, so it's not possible for me. Um, do you crochet at work? I don't, but I have been considering bringing some of my stuff to work to do on my breaks and stuff. Um, there's a lady at work that knits, so I've been considering doing that too, but I haven't actually done it yet. Uh, do you dislike it when you have a simple pattern, but it is hard to follow due to the way it is written? Yes, I dislike that. I, I hate... There are sometimes um, I have to read a specific part of a pattern over and over and over again to figure out what exactly it's asking me and then when I actually do it I'm like oh that's it like that's all it was asking me so that's really annoying um how many UFOs unfinished objects do you have um not many actually I have a scarf that I started like a year ago and then stopped because I got bored with it um, and I have an unfinished, um, tote bag that I was knitting, and I just stopped knitting because knitting annoys me. Um, and I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else besides those two. Um, do you travel with your hook and yarn? Uh, I don't really travel much. Um, I go on short little road trips with my husband now and then, but we don't do much traveling. But if I did, I would bring my hook and yarn. Um, and those are the questions. Um... I don't like to tag people, but if you, if anybody um, is interested in doing this, go right ahead, and uh, happy crocheting.